Hey y'all, this video is a special request from Ernie. He's having issues with the enter reverse lever right there. He wants to replace that. Uh, so let's show how to get that done. And this one looks like it's cracked as well. So we may need to change this one out also anyhow. I just so happen to have a 12,000D, which is the same reel that he's working on. So happy I can help Ernie. All right, so while I open this up, this is not a tutorial on how to break this down. It's just going straight for this uh, lever here. But while I open this up, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that like button. And be sure to tell your friends about the channel as well. So I may or may not speed through this part. Uh, we're going to need to remove this pool because we need to take the, the rotor off. I'm going to screw now so that I can get this off and get to all the screws that are under here. So we can get that side cover off. All right, so now we can pop this off. This just pops right up. Well, maybe not just pops right up, but it comes up. We gotta lift this uh, rotor off before we can do that. Let's get this up and then we'll get to this. All right, Eesh. all right, so to get to that lever, and I guess the question is, why does this lever get frozen? Uh, obviously, because no one uses it, they just kind of leave it in the anti reverse engaged mode. Uh, just kind of makes sense. Most people just want the end to reverse. They don't want. They don't want to be able to back the reel up. So if you don't use that lever or kind of work it back and forth every couple of times, it's going to sit there. Salt is going to get in and corrosion is going to build up and then it's just going to stay frozen. And whenever you actually need it, you won't be able to turn it. So I'm going to have to pull this off so I can get the shaft out so I can freely work inside there. If you've never seen me do one of these, uh, i got to take the, uh, what that means essentially is I have to take the, uh, the bait feeder clutch out. And yeah, I was saying you have to open this, uh, remove the clutch so you can get to the the retainer for the shaft underneath. And it's not always easy, easy to get this up. Uh, these things kind of freeze onto that lever shaft there. So I might end up pausing this video just to get that that off so we can continue to the part that we're looking for okay so we got that off uh, just kind of rocked it back and forth to get it off of there there's some buildup corrosion there 
And now we're going to remove that retainer right there. It just kind of lifts straight up. Like that. And then you just pull backwards to get it out. Pull the shaft out. Pull this up so we can get the pinion out, and then we're going to work on this part here. Alright, let me set these things aside. And so I don't jam this reel up, I'm going to take this block out of there too. And the gear. <laughs> I think I'll just take everything out. Oh, sorry, Ernie. I hope this doesn't take too long for you. I'm seeing little things as I kind of go through this that I don't want to mess up or have out of position. So <laughs> we're just going to pull everything out. Okay. Ah, oh, something to fall out. <laughs> the bearing. All right. So the first thing on this is there's a little ring right there. Don't lose that. Don't lose it. So to get this lever off, we're gonna undo that screw right there. And this is gonna be a little bit stiff. I can, uh, I'm assuming because the lever is frozen. So we're gonna have to gently work, work it up. And a good way to do that is just by taking a pliers and grabbing the non-essential parts, just gently rocking it back and forth. I'm trying to find something that's not essential. And we're gonna just turn it. I guess we should spray it first. in there and if you're doing this like this you really got to be careful that you don't snap it and break that nub off on top so we're gonna have to let it soak for a little bit all right so we're gonna let it soak uh, so it kind of gets uh, <clears throat> the oil kind of gets in there and we're gonna just come back to it every so often and work it back and forth to see if we can get it start moving because we need to free that up so we can pull that shaft out so we can get that lever off and put the new one in. So we're just going to wait a little while and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so it's been soaking for a little while. We're going to try it again. And if it still doesn't come, we're going to pause and soak some more and then come back again and again and again until we can get it to move. Uh, I think it just moved. Uh, you want to be careful that you don't deform this to where it rides up and affects that ring uh, being around that little knob there. And if it does, you can just use like a um, screwdriver or whatever and just scrape the top part off so it sits properly on there. did move. Oh, it did move. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to gently work that back and forth. I say gently, but I don't mean that. I mean with some force just to get that freed up. Just be careful. Now we'll spray some more, uh, oil in there and keep working it and let's 
see if we cause any damage. No, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna keep working at this, and then when I feel like it's good enough to start trying to pry up, I'll come back to you guys. All right, so it feels like it's loose enough for me to start working it up now. So I'm gonna gently rock back and forth, uh, kind of angle that down a little bit. Uh, be careful you don't touch inside right there where the spring is because uh, we don't want to damage that. So we're going to stick, stay around that area right there and on that side. And we're just going to rock it back and forth and gently just try to work it up. And this may take some time as well. It's not a quick process. So it's always best to have uh, another lever on hand if uh, if you're doing this because that can happen right there and luckily I do have a lever on hand so I'm not that concerned about it but I'd rather save it if I can. And I gotta say, this is this was probably the the toughest one that I've done on these. They're not normally this uh, this difficult to work with, but you can tell if you're making progress by seeing if that hole is moving up at all. And it looks like it is, so we're getting somewhere. So to keep doing this back and forth. Uh, with some slight upward pull until you can kind of just feel it free up and no it's not the spring that's holding it in that's causing it to do that but you can certainly remove the spring to help in that process It'll be more of the corrosion that you hear around this, like if you can hear that, that's all just salt build up inside there. All right, so this is what I'm gonna to continue to do until I get it all the way up and out. Uh, and this might take a little while, so I'm going to pause the camera again and come back to you when it's either out or almost out okay so as you can see it's almost out the spring has dropped down and we're almost got this all the, way, <clears throat> the entire way up I tried it with my fingers after I got to here and it's still stiff so I'm just gonna work it this way uh, try to stay up in this area don't go down here because there's a little bracket under there that supports that spring. We don't definitely don't want to deform that at all. I thought it was almost out. out yeah this one was a little tricky so Ernie I hope yours is not as uh, as corroded in there as this one was because we may end up having to replace this uh, this shaft here uh, we might be all right I think we are fine. Definitely got some marks in there from the uh, 
from the left. I'm sorry, from the uh, the pliers. So anyway, that's how it comes out. And the way you put it back in is kind of the same way. I'm gonna clean this off uh, and come back to you guys and show you how to put it back in. Uh, I think I'm gonna replace this lever here. So I may end up just replacing the shaft. Anyhow, so give me a sec. I'll come back to you and show you how to reset all of this because uh, putting the spring in there is kind of tricky. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so Ernie, I had to shave this down a little bit. Uh, there was quite a bit of buildup corrosion on this, and I wanted to reuse it. So I just used some sandpaper and shaved it down a little bit. And now let's get to reinstalling this. Uh, since it's already out, I'm going to add some grease. And some grease around there, that hole too. You know, I am going to change the lever out. I'm going to add some grease in these. Uh, before I do this, be sh note that I did clean this hole out very well because there was still some uh, salt in there. And that hole at the bottom as well, as well as inside that cavity there. So I'm just taking some some grease inside there, somewhere around there. I'm just taking this lever, and the way it's going to sit is essentially like that. I'm just going to rest it in there. Not really worried about it too much yet. Just kind of have it sitting there, and I want to get this spring, the long end of the spring, set inside the hole over here. right away. That's going to kind of hang out like that somewhere. Now I'm going to take my shaft and all I'm trying to do is find where that uh, where that lever is and I want to make sure that I get it to where it's going inside the lever. I'm not trying to key it up at this point I'm simply trying to find the lever and there it is. That's kind of where it's sitting right now. I can see it's turning the lever. It's turning the shaft if I do that. All right, so I'm just going to pick this up as high as I can without pulling it out of that lever. And now I'm going to take this end of the, I'll turn that about there, about at that angle. Take this end of the uh, spring, and I'm simply going to raise it like tilt it up to find the hole that's under that shaft now I'm just going to push down now is when I want to make sure that I'm set inside this lever and that looks about right and just push down now you're essentially set, essentially set at this point we're just going to test it and we see that it's working. I'm holding down on this while I do that. But now we have a functioning lever. Now all you have to, have to do is to screw that in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Make sure it's fully seated. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to add some grease to this hole here so that doesn't get uh, corroded up on me. I'm not letting go of these pieces as I, <laughs> as I do this screw thing. All right, now it's screwed in place. We can double check it. And there's our functioning lever again. All right, I hope that helps some of you guys out there. Uh, please don't I'm saying don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button, but also don't forget to put that little metal ring on there that goes on top. Like so. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see, uh, if you find it helpful, and be sure to hit the bell notification as well so you can get updated whenever I put new videos out and let your friends know about the channel. Alright guys, I'll see you all next time.